Aries, welcome to your February love reading. I'm Robin Carlion from Robin's Authentic Tarot, and thank you for visiting my channel. Now, this is a five card reading that I'm doing for you. The first placement is your energy. Aries, okay, so here we go. That is the five of cups. And for the second card, you have the Ace of Swords, and this is representing them. Aries, for the third placement, which is the potential for the relationship, that is the Three of Swords. For the advice placement, wow, there was a lot that came out there. <laughs> Let's do that one again. So for the advice is the nine of wands. And for your final card, which is the outcome card. Oh, where's, there is two here. Ah, wow. Okay, so you received the hermit and you also received the four of swords. So starting off with you. So this, first of all, is the five of cups. Now, there, this is about transition, feelings, emotions. There may be some grieving. Remembering that this is a transition card, there are three cups that are lying on the ground. And with those cups, those ones are spilled over. Those ones allow yourself, allow yourself to be in that moment. But knowing that when you turn around, there's those two full cups that are behind you. And so the two dealing as a pair, so two people. Now, also seeing in this card for yourself, Aries, is that there is that bridge. And that's leading to a place that's leading to a home, a castle that's leading to somewhere. So knowing that just because one relationship may have ended, just because a phase of your life might have transitioned on, doesn't mean that there's something that's going to be coming up in the future for you. So this is very, very promising. This is the five. This is all about transition and change. For the second card, this one here is the ace. This placement is representing the person that you are thinking about. So this person could be the person you're currently with, or this could be the person that you are manifesting into your life. So what better energy to receive than the sword energy? It is that manifesting. It is that communication. It is looking at things from a different perspective. And this is about the new beginnings. The ace is always representing new things that are coming to you that are being handed to you by the universe. So just because there was something that didn't work out before or whatever that means to you, however that resonates, because it is a general reading, the universe is always looking out for you. The universe is always supporting you and handing you new opportunities. There's also the orange and the blue here in the bottom. So that orange is always representing your sacral chakra. Your sacral chakra is relationships, emotions. That is your relationship to every single aspect of your life. And there is that water energy there representing the flow, representing being in the flow. And being in the flow of the Aquarian energy, it's all about opening ourselves up for higher opportunities. We are allowing ourselves to manifest higher quality energy. And for the relationship advice, this one here is the third placement and this is the three of wands. So with this wand energy, this is all about looking at the new clear 
palette. There's so many things that you can create. There are so many opportunities and possibilities. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous energy, that fire energy, very directional, very focused energy, looking at all of the new buds. So there is new things that are coming your way. For the advice, this one is the nine of wands. So the nine of wands, this represents exhaustion. This represents a lot of hard work. And so the nine always represents that things are coming to an end and things are cycling out, allowing yourself to know that there is the end of those tough times. Looking at all of the green here, which I've actually never noticed before. The, he's wearing green boots, green tights, but also there's the green there. And so with the green, it's representing that heart chakra energy. With that heart chakra energy, it is the electromagnetic frequency that we all have coming out of us because we are energetic beings. And so with the heart chakra, putting out that unconditional love and you are allowing it to come back to you. So really allowing yourself to focus on you right now. Focus on you being tired, you being fed up, you being just, you know how relationships go. Relationships or not being in a relationship and wanting to be in a relationship. There's all sorts of feelings for this, but knowing that there is that transition, there is that really big transition that's happening with you. And for your outcome card, you have two cards and this one here is resting and meditating and allowing yourself to be in your thoughts right now. Allowing yourself to really focus on you. You are the one that is the most important. So allowing yourself to go into deep thought. This card here, the Hermit, I always call it collecting wisdom. I know this does not look very appealing, but it is. This is going down deep in your thoughts. And I love how it showed up together. Definite message here from Spirit that there is a lot of you time right now. So really focusing on you. Again, it might not resonate with everyone. Aries, I thank you for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. I thank you for all of your support for my channel. Have a beautiful living in love February. Mwah.